Now, homes and cars washed away or destroyed by mud and flood water after a river bank burst and heavy rainfall hit South Africa's Cape Town. Western Cape local government has activated the disaster management center across the province. This comes in response to flooding and severe damage caused by gusty winds and heavy rains that have been battering the town since Sunday. Now, visuals showed cars submerged in flood waters, crushed by trees that fell after being hit by gale force winds. Rescue teams are responding to uprooted trees and weather-related power outages in several communities. Now, the settlement in a village in the Western Cape remained flooded. Residents continue to face a hard few days with nowhere to go after their homes were destroyed in the flooding. Twelve. This started. And we are out of power, out of electricity, and it's going to be um, load shedding again now at 12. So my personal take on this, it's like, yo, I just can't explain, man, how I feel personally, because I'm standing here in my friend's house and seeing this. It's not a good picture for people to live in this. The damage is out, uh, carpets in, uh, in the, the lower doors of us. Everything is uh, it's damaged, even the fridge. Now, widespread flooding has been reported in uh, both informal settlements and formal housing areas across Western Cape. Western Cape Media Liaison Officer said that the storm's impact on the province's informal housing would be vast. Earlier, South Africa's weather office had also issued an orange level 9 warning for severe thunderstorms. Now, according to the Western Cape officials, people who went missing during the floods are feared dead after the devastating storm swept across the South African province on Monday. The local government has categorized the storm as a disaster, suggesting that the full extent of the damage will only become apparent once the storm has subsided. 